Hello friends, welcome to this video program. In our earlier program, we have discussed about the concept of validity and uh, how validity is correlated or uh, related with the concept of reliability. Then we have also discussed certain methods that can be used for determining the validity of a test. We have discussed about uh, the first and foremost method that is the fast validity method. We have discussed about the content validity method. Then we have discussed about the criterion uh, related validity method. Under criterion related validity method, we have discussed the concurrent validity as well as the predictive validity method. The another two uh, method that can be used for determining validity of a test is the construct validity and factorial validity. So today in this program, uh, we'll uh, discuss about the concept of construct validity and uh, how to use uh, this technique, this method for determining construct validity of a test. So friends, uh, uh, you see the term uh, construct, uh, the word construct uh, has taken, I will give a very general example and we'll start our discussion from there, uh, you see, uh, uh, when we construct a building, means when the builders, uh, they engage to construct a building or construct a bridge, okay, many a time, uh, you get in the newspaper, in different media, that uh, uh, somewhere the bridge has collapsed and somewhere uh, the building is also collapsed. So you see, what is the cause behind it? Uh, why a building is uh, collapsing and uh, why uh, a bridge is collapsing. There may be certain problem with the construction of the building or construction of the bridge. You see, if when we talk about the construction of a building, then definitely such things, uh, it comes to our mind that uh, what are the different raw materials that has been used for constructing the building. Okay. So, if I will say that uh, uh, we can say the raw materials like iron rod, raw materials like the stone chips, raw materials like cement, like sand, okay. So, these are the certain raw materials uh, or bricks, uh, 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 these are used for constructing a building. You see, for every type of construction work, maybe building, maybe bridge or other types of road, so you will find that there is certain norm, there is certain principles, okay. So means uh, uh, what is the, when uh, for building a construction, uh, when mixture will be uh, prepared, so what is the formation of the mixture, means uh, uh, when you are making a mixture of cement and uh, uh, cement with, uh, you can say sand, okay, cement, sand and uh, small chips. So, uh, what is their proportion? How much cement we have to keep, then uh, uh, sand, then with the chips. You see, many a time you will find that uh, uh, because of the substandard work, because the norm has not uh, properly maintained, properly, you know, the, the proportion of different raw materials are not properly, uh, uh, you know, uh, used uh, in the construction. So, that's why many a time you will find that the building has collapsed. So, from this example, I will lead you uh, to our test that is construct validity. It means earlier when we are, uh, uh, when the builder was constructing a building, means there was certain difficulties, there was certain problem, there was certain, uh, you can say, uh, uh, lacuna in constructing the building means the raw materials or the norm for developing a building, the rules and regulations that has not been uh, followed properly okay so that's why because of a uh, you can say substandard work substandard work and a very loose material used uh, in the work the building got collapsed or the bridge got collapsed but when we talk about uh, a test then what is the concept of construct validity of a test you see uh, uh, as a student of education uh, as a practitioner of education, as a researcher of education, we understand that every traits, every variables, every psychological variables or traits that we are using in our research, in our study, 
and that has a uh, definite principle that has a definite principle a theory okay so you uh, you can say that has a definite theoretical construct so here you see uh, before developing a test uh, uh, this is the prime work of any researcher to understand to read and to culture about the theoretical construct of that threat that variable okay and uh, as a researcher if you have lack knowledge about the principle of that uh, uh, variable or theory then you cannot develop a uh, uh, good test i'm just giving one example uh, uh, let uh, uh, you are going to develop uh, or standardized a test of intelligent test means you have developed an intelligent test so uh, when you go through the review of related literature when you uh, you know cultured the studies that has been earlier conducted means when you studied uh, what the variable uh, intelligence says means how intelligence is related with other variables okay so you see uh, many researches have been conducted on intelligence on the variable of intelligence so when you will study intelligence definitely you will find certain insight certain knowledge uh, certain uh, uh, theoretical const uh, construct certain principle that how intelligence work for other variable means what type of relationship between intelligence with let another variable i am saying achievement okay intelligence with self concept intelligence with attitude intelligence with personality means what i mean to say let you are uh, taking a group of subject okay and you are going to develop a test of intelligence so what you will do you have already developed a test of intelligence and you will uh, administer that test on that group of uh, students to know their intelligence then again what you will do already you have developed a test your intelligent test is in your hand as the theoretical construct the theory or the principle says that intelligence is having positive correlation with achievement then how to know the construct validity of your test means what you will do you have to select another achievement you have uh, no need of preparing an achievement test the available achievement test which is already standardized okay which is available in the uh, uh, psychology lab or in the market so what you will do uh, which is applicable on that age group of subject on that standard of subject you have to apply that test okay and uh, here you will get two sets of scores first of all already you have got a set of scores you have prepared your intelligent test you have taken items from different components of intelligence from different factors of intelligence you have taken question from reasoning you have taken question from uh, uh, you can say different subject area you, you have taken question from general knowledge you have taken question from general awareness okay and from languages also so you have prepared a good uh, test of intelligence so what you will do you have to administer that intelligent test upon a group of subject then again what you will do uh, the available achievement test uh, which is available in the market again you have to administer that test upon that group of subjects then here you will get two sets of score one set of score is your intelligence score and other set of score is the achievement score so you have to find out or you have to uh, find out correlation between two sets of score means correlation between achievement and intelligence intelligence test that you have prepared and achievement test you have not prepared but you have taken uh, from the market or from any psychological uh, any psychology organization for determining uh, construct validity of the intelligent test that you have prepared so you see uh, uh, when you correlate you and when you analyze the uh, uh, score of, uh, of the subjects you found that the students or the subjects those have done uh, means those are having high intelligence group means above average those are real intelligent students they have scored better in the achievement test means equally their achievement is also good and uh, uh, you can say uh, in the intelligent test those are uh, those have not done well means uh, uh, the intelligence of the group of students uh, whose intelligence is less than average or poor you can say more on those are come under uh, below average category 
they are not uh, you know uh, their achievement is also not good means they have managed to secure very less marks or a, uh, less grade so here what you will say uh, uh, the theory says that uh, there is positive correlation between intelligence and achievement you have prepared a test of intelligence so in your intelligence you have identified the group of students they are the high intelligence group and uh, you have identified a group of students uh, by using your uh, test that they are the low intelligence group students and what you are getting the high intelligence group students when you administer another achievement test upon them you are also getting those are doing well in the intelligent test they are equally doing well in the achievement test also okay so those are not those have not done well in your intelligent test equally they didn't do well they didn't do well in the achievement test also it means your test is aligning with the theory aligning with the theoretical construct means as per the theory already you have studied uh, the theoretical construct of intelligence means uh, the uh, it says that uh, 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 the learners those are having uh, uh, the high intelligent learners will do better in academic achievement so it it goes with that theory okay so uh, means uh, 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 it is not going against the theory so accordingly you can also do with a, a type of aptitude test you know there is positive correlations between uh, intelligence and aptitude means those uh, will uh, uh, those are having means the the subjects uh, uh, who are come under the high intelligence group means whose intelligence is high so definitely will find that their aptitude is also high uh, i am not saying about the exceptional cases in majority of the cases but in your test uh, if you are getting that uh, uh, means the students or uh, the subjects those have done well in your intelligent test but their aptitude is not good or their achievement is not good okay in the earlier case if i will say that yes the high intelligent group subjects are uh, substantially not doing well in achievement factors may be uh, uh, very many other factors may be there but intelligence uh, achievement is one of the factor okay so if they are not doing the intelligent students if they are not doing well in achievement then we can say that the test that you have developed the intelligent test is lacking certain theoretical construct means say uh, uh, you can say that your test is lacking uh, the uh, the construct value okay uh, means say uh, your test the items that you have selected for your test okay or uh, you can say the formation of the test and uh, uh, the components that you have taken and uh, different subjects areas or different items from the components that uh, uh, may not uh, you know uh, done properly so that's why this may be one of the reason that uh, uh, your test is lacking construct validity so friends uh, uh, you see for getting the construct validity what you have to do first you have to go for Uh, 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 you know uh, reading the literature reading the literature to know detail about what the theory says what the principle says about any variable about any uh, 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 you can say uh, uh, attribute okay so after knowing detail about uh, uh, detail theoretical construct about the variable variable you have to select uh, items you have to form your test then after forming the test for knowing for establishing construct validity of your test definitely you have to select other test uh, as per the theory which is having a type of positive correlation between uh, uh, intelligence so again you have to administer may be an achievement test may be an aptitude test upon that group of learners or students or subjects then you have to find out the correlation between among these two if the correlation is positive and high positive and high means let uh, if it is Uh, more than 0.5 uh, uh, let it be 0.6 to 0.85 0.92 then you can say that your test is having construct validity means your test is not going any type of theoretical construct means the principles that uh, have been developed earlier okay it is not contradicting any of the theory rather it is also come with that theory so you can say Uh, your test is having the construct validity so friends in this uh, uh, way uh, by adopting uh, such technique you can find out the construct validity 
uh, of your test in our next uh, program we will discuss about uh, another method uh, that can be used for uh, you know uh, knowing the validity of the test that is the factorial validity thank you